everybody, welcome back Mage Dark Ages with me Sid and uh, following on the stream I've done a little bit of building I've moved my um, research table down here and um, I have scanned all the things in my chests I've got every single uh, aspect uh, except for Vitium taint I have not been able to find a tainted biome anywhere uh, I've went up here, nice little village there I went across here, I went all the way up here, I went across here, and that bit there, I think it was that one, is, no, no, carry on across here, uh, Ice Bite Biome, I haven't seen one of those for an age, and then we went up here, and there's probably one of the prettiest villages I've ever seen, it's made out of snow and um, packed ice, very pretty, and we went round here, and we went down there, and we went over here, and then we cut out this way, because the things, we came back down here, and all the way back around here, and I, I didn't find any taint. So, uh, yeah, that's one I haven't got. It's fortunately, at this stage in the game, not absolutely necessary. Now, in terms of building, there's a tunnel through there, which I'll show you in a moment. But first things first, I would like a bookcase. Oops, not a box case, a bookcase. Um, let's just do a little bit of organising, so I can stick some more of this crap in, and the world will be good. So I think it's a bookcase we need, I'm going to pop that there. What I haven't got, of course, is that wand that uh, the council left us. That's um, obviously where I live in Nottingham, you know, Ashfield Council. <laughs> uh, they've not... Or maybe I did tell. Oh, I did. Okay. My bad. Yeah, so I scanned everything. I've scanned all the things. I have got a whole vast array of aspects. Um, so one of the things we are going to want to do very, very early on, apart from... That was a Thormonomicon. That's not what I needed. I have a Thormonomicon. Oh, well, I have a spare now. It's not a bookcase. Now, what was it then? Is it a... Uh, oh, tell you what. Let's consult our Thormonomicon, shall we? and jump in here and we're going to go tell me how to make a always the nodes, thermonomicon, research, knowledge Ugh, I can't remember how to make a um, crafting table thing <laughs> one of those things you just you do so you only do it like once every day uh, arcane work table that's it and I can't I don't know how to make an arcane work table. Okay. That's not good. Hmm. Artifice. Goggles of revealing. Ah, there we go. It's a table. Not, not that. It's a table we need. Okay. Why did I think it was a bookcase? Okay. Table. Hmm. Not that kind of table, though. Uh, you've got an exchange value of 28. Your slabs and... Okay. Oak. One, two, three, and one, two, two. Gimme. Uh, huh. I haven't got a crafting bench on me. We'll get there eventually. <coughs> yeah. Some great mage I make. Can't even make the basic crafting table. Uh, okay, do that, that, and that. Gimme one of them, thank you. In fact, learn that because I can uh, there we go one of them uh, yeah so I'm not going to do a huge amount of magic today I've got a few plans for things I'd like to start and work on some of it's underwater or well, partly underwater uh, some of it's not underwater much better. So, the first thing we need to research, because this iron wand is basically rubbish. So, we need to learn gold wand caps. That is going to take a bit of that, some gold nuggets. We can do those. Great wood wand core. We've got great wood logs. We can do that. 
Uh, and that's as far as we can go, but at least we can get a better one core now. So if I go in here and say I would like some great... Not great wood, actually. I would prefer some absolutely awesome wood. Um, have that. No, we're not going to get rid of that, are we? Uh, let's go for a little bit of gold. Have I not... <coughs> have I not learned gold nugget yet? I'm going to sort that out now. So, yeah. Um, I want to do and just, just kind of progress my thaumaturgy just to... Oh, hello. Food. Thaumaturgy just a little teeny weeny bit. Um, but uh, I'll uh, I'll go and grab. In fact, uh, I should have one uh, one of those that'll do. This will give us a nugget which we can promptly learn, and we can go in here and go. I want some gold. Give me gold. No, come on. You must have learned it by now. There we go, thank you. So, yeah. Uh, I've completely forgotten what I was saying now. <laughs> yeah, one of those days. One of those days where you just can't even seem to string a sentence together. Right, let's get this thing done. So we need one of those. We need two of those. Um, and we are immediately in the realms of having a much better wand. Now, we do obviously need to charge said wand. And I have scanned a few nodes. There's some good ones about, actually. There's a 55 Ignis wand there. There was a... I saw there was a... Ooh. Pure nodes. Now, there is one node. I don't know whether we can... Pure... That sinisters. Did I? I thought I'd scan that. Let me grab my scanner and I'll try. It. I'm going to want that as well. And uh, the the reason for wanting that will become apparent. But let me go and introduce you to the friendly neighbourhood node that is, in some ways, very fortunate, <laughs> uh, but in other ways. Not so good. Fly, my pretty fly. So yeah, down here. You can see this. Uh, where are you? There you are. Hungry note. Ah. Uh, yeah. Right here. Right next to my base. So as I say, in some respects, not bad. But in other respects, not good. Because, you know, it's right next to my base and it's a hungry node and it is pulling people in. So, now there is one, strangely enough, right here. So we'll, uh, we'll top up there. At least we've got... Uh, I ought to... I ought to actually do these researches as well before. Let me just go and perch on the roof a second. This is the one thing, nice thing with um, this, is we can do advanced node tapping. We'll have that. I need some Aurum for that. Uh, master node tapping, I also need Aurum. So we need to go and do a bit of research there. Research expertise. Yeah, research mastery. What? Do, I mean, that doesn't give me anything other than allowing me to create aspects. And we're going to need that. So that's going to be an absolute necessity for this. But now at least we can uh, be fairly certain that we're not going to destroy our friendly neighbourhood node. Uh, okay, you're done. Right, we need uh, to get the next next one up. But there are quite a few. The desert, I always find the desert is probably one of the best places to... I've scanned a load, so I could just um, do it. Um, you know, hoofer, thingy-ma-bob, what's my jig? There, I knew there was one there. So you are Ordo and uh, hoofer. Boop. 
Pedito. Ordo and Pedito. That's what you are. Uh, oh, what are you like now then? You're full on Pedito. And then there's another one somewhere around here, but it was a pale node if I recall. Hmm, hmm. If I were a node, where are they? Desperately need to get, yeah, more Ordo and Aqua for that one. So, uh, yeah, we can, but... So I'm just going to basically run around some of the nodes that we've got in the area, top up my wand until, until we're good. At the moment we're at that stage where we have to run around and uh, do it the hard way, so to speak. Still not quite shifted this chest cold, and uh, yeah, it's not, it's not nice. It's not a nice chest cold. I mean, I've never come across a nice chest cold, but, you know, if there were such a thing as a nice chest, cold, uh, chest cold, then, uh, this is not it. Oh, is that a hungry zombie down there? Yes, it is. We don't want to play with him. Or do we? Can we scan him? Can we scan the hungry zombie? We can. Cool. What are you? Oh, uh, hey. Stop it, fishing zombie. No. <laughs> right. Let's fly. Where's that one gone? Oh, it's only just surfaced. I still haven't quite got the best way of leading these spells when he's when they're moving. The, ah, there we go, level 41. So our next odd level is going to be a red skill orb hoofer. Oh, there he is. My god, he. Whee! He's not dying easily, is he? Hello. How, how are you doing now, huh? Oh my god, you. You really haven't taken much of a. We really haven't taken much damage there at all. Alright. <clears throat> Come on, Chucklehead. There. Right. Um, yeah, anyway, I'm going to continue hunting around for things to scan. I'm not going to try and scan that fella over there, because that is a Spitfire skeleton. And, uh, and they hurt. Quite a lot. Right, note hunting. So I'll be back with you in a little... Oh, you are a... You are... Uh... That was weird. Oh! He's like a black hole uh, creeper. Cool! Right, today I learned. Anyway, note hunting. Back with you in a little... Okay, um, yeah, I haven't stopped, I've started. <laughs> Slight thing, I have a different pause, uh, a stop and start button, and, and the other one doesn't kind of really work like that. But anyway, we've, we've got our new one fully charged, so that's good. I'm not going to do anything with that this episode, though. As I said, I want to, uh, there's... There is so much Thorncraft in this pack. You know, we've got Witching Gadgets, we've got Thormic Infusion, we've got Thormic Horizons, Thormic Basis, Thormic Upholstery, Talismans 2, uh, Tainted Magic, Magical Decorations, which uh, there's only two things in. The Usual Apocrypha, Thormic Tinkerer, Automagy, Arcane Arteries. Arcane Arteries is going to be pretty important because we're definitely going to want... Uh, those got Golemancy, obviously the usual artifice stuff, alchemy, usual thaumaturgy stuff, and all of these. Um, and we'll probably get stuck into Thorncraft properly soon. <laughs> but um, yeah, oh, Birch said to go and check the names on the gifts from the council. Uh, I'm guessing that probably means it wasn't Ashfield District Council. Thormy, 
beginning to turn, we saw me, oh, saw me, I wonder what the name of the wand was, they obviously renamed it then, saw me, let's go and find out, see whether the wand had a name, didn't know, you know, it's, it's funny when you're recording, you don't always, iron caps wooden wand, just uh, thought, of, okay, thought of me, okay, um, <laughs> Right, so I'm going to want some sandstone. For definite. Um, probably want at least that much. I'm going to also want... Uh, let's get some glow. Not gallow. Glo oh, we haven't got enough in there for that. Let me go. I need a bit of a like, little teeny weeny, weeny bit of glowstone for this. Because the tunnel I've built is... I mean, you don't get much for your diamond. Ten glowstone is not a huge amount. But, let's just have a little stroll down here. So you'll see that I've come out all the way under here. We've gone under the sea. I've not done anything especially special with it. But we come all the way down to this little dome here. And that gives us... Probably easier to see if I get my uh, light talisman on. Access to this huge underwater area and I've got two spaces going out that way so I'm going to have my big infusion dome probably that way we'll probably have a smaller um, alchemy dome over here we've got capacity to do something this way so lots of potential space to work under the sea here um, we need to get plenty of this because I need to replace all of this down here with that's probably good enough to there with sandstone they need a floor and because these are uh, glass oh, that's not sandstone you idiot because these are glass I'm probably going to have to embed some lighting in the floor for this one uh, for this tunnel now if I do let me just if I do that, so is that kind of, and then we can try and do something fancy there with um, some ch other chiselled variety of. Uh, this is going. Oh, oh, we're all right actually. We can uh, get away with that, but that will do nicely down there. Get two comfy chairs ready in three men. No, I'm not with it. Uh, I'm, I'm not always with it anyway, as you probably know. So, uh, yeah, so we can bring this all the way down here. I mean, this was not fun to build. It's that usual underwater potion of breathing and the, the night vision thing going on. But... Um, I think in the long run this will be worth it having. I'm, I'm quite enjoying having this spread out base thing going on and having lots of different connecting oops, tunnels and and so on and so forth. It's uh, it's quite entertaining actually. It's quite fun building it and coming up with, you know, different things and then not having a single overriding theme going on throughout the whole thing if you know what I mean so I mean there is the theme I'm sticking with the sandstone a lot um, although down in the Thorn Thorncraft area I have to say I am very very tempted to try using some packed ice see whether we can mix that into it somehow because I think that might look quite nice anyway I'm just going to um, this is just really to give you an idea of what we're going to do down here. Um, and if I just go and start, say, here and go, what, one, two, like there, and then one, two, three, there, one, two, three, bang, one, two, like this, coming down here, and we'll have the, just the glowstone set in the floor, and then we'll have the continuation of the marble floor let me just show you and then I can I can kind of do this between episodes but if I go and grab some marble 
Uh, oops, no. I'm going to get a lot on top of that. Yeah, of course I am. Because marble's cheap. Uh, hmm. How do I get rid of some of this? Oh well, it doesn't matter. We can, we can work. We can work with it. We can definitely work with that. So we can obviously come down this side here, and then we'll have carpenter stairs and all the all the good stuff like that going down. Um, so if I just bring this this far for now. Whoa, hoo, 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 hello. Uh, that could have been unpleasant. Well, not actually unpleasant at all, because I've got the flight ring on, but metaphorically speaking, it could have been unpleasant. So that will come all the way down here, like a so. And, uh, and then we'll have the... Yep, that kind of works for me. And obviously we can get rid of these, these major lights in the floor as well then. And uh, yeah, so hopefully possibly have have the bulk of this this kind of area built by uh, by next episode really. Oh god. So we can actually get on and use some of the the magical technology that we have at our fingertips. Some of the new ones, especially, because as I say, I've not really played with them. So, and this is so it's as much an exploration for me as it is for people who are watching, really. You know, so, yeah. But it doesn't look. Oh God, <laughs> it doesn't look bad. Uh, let me just make sure we're lit up. We are. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to see what Birch's after, and. Uh, I will see you in a moment. So, all right. Well, I've got the um, the tunnel done uh, down to the junction down there. Obviously, we, we need to do the domey bit and stuff. Um, Paul came by and brought this over: a great wood smoking pipe, some <laughs> wisdom tobacco pile, and things. And this is uh, it's from Thormy Bases. Uh, and you basically, you have a little puff on your pipe, and the wisdom stuff gives you research. I don't know what this one does. Hang on, let's see. Uh, nothing, it's just you have a little puff. Yeah. So, yeah, that's um, some Thormic bases. Uh, he was concerned, he wanted to check that I smoked before I, uh, before he brought it over, because... I'm guessing that there may be people out there who would be offended if someone gave them smoking materials when they are non-smokers. Uh, I am... I don't really need that. Not one of them. <laughs> uh, but I do want to get... Uh, let's have a look. We want some acacia wood. Not quite that much. Maybe, maybe a couple of stacks. And then I want some sandstone. And again, maybe not quite that much. Uh, okay, that, that'll do for now. So one of the things that we spoke about on when we were streaming was the idea of building a village and getting some villagers in there. Now we are getting to the point where we are approaching the Red Spell points and we've got this right um so it gives us some means of transporting the old uh, testificates around shall we say but i'm thinking that maybe we should start start our village walls here-ish um now i'm a little bit concerned that mobs can obviously clamber around and down and in but we'll we can work our our shape out but maybe like yeah I mean there's a pig there he could come in and viciously attack my villagers but if we were to maybe maybe start here let me just my chisel is wearing out I'm over onto my second yeah, well this is my second chisel uh, this one is definitely wearing out so if we were to have a, our wall 
up like that. They'd still be able to walk around the outside, wouldn't they? I'm just trying... Because obviously I don't want to go to the trouble of building a village, populating it with testificates, and then having the first zombie just wander in and go... and, and munch on them all. But um, how best to do this? I think if we take it, I, I can... Hmm. Uh, I'll, I will work worry about that particular problem later. So what I am thinking is using a mixture of acacia wood and this, because the acacia wood really does go nicely with the sandstone. And maybe have one, two, three, five, and then a space. Is that going to be big enough, or do I want to go one wider? Do I think? Uh, if I were to go here, one, two, three, four, five, and a space. And then we can carry on the walls this way. Oh, God. One, two, three, four, five, and a space. And it's not going to be huge. I don't want to have an absolutely vast three, four, five, and a space. Ah, damn you go on the right way round. So that would kind of bring us out so far this way and I can continue on you know hugging the landscape a little bit here and then maybe bring this up uh, two three four might work keep on forgetting I can double jump and that kind of brings us out that way a bit what we go oh, I really need to get where's my particles options video settings particles decreased I don't like having them off because this you know obviously one of the nice things with the magic packs one two three four five and a space uh, one, two, Damn you. And then one, two, three, four, five. So we can continue. That would be... And obviously I can I'll keep the walls level and hug the terrain. So from there we'll go one, two, one, two. So if the terrain drops, the walls will just... should be level it is do that so the walls stay level so that gives us a kind of settlement area outside the walls and we'll extend that out and then have another gate system coming in there I think uh, and then maybe we want to do something like that or along the top. I may I think in these walls might be too thick as well. Um because I want to get some overhang here to discourage speedies and all of that kind of stuff going on. Um yeah, let me just uh, quickly chisel up some of this into the the bland it's really smooth smooth stone one because we can kind of do oop ow oh, bum <laughs> oh what did I uh, I took a snake section out didn't I uh, and that's not right either oh my nose is itching something rotten tonight uh, I'm glad I'm not streaming because I'd be scratching that on camera uh, which is not not the best of things to be doing. And we can we can spruce this up with more Egyptian stuff going on and around the side we'll get that and maybe some carpenter's blocks in there just to give it because we've already got an overhang but we can get more of an overhang than that I think. Let me just go and grab some bits, play around with the design here and uh, yeah, I'll come back when I've got a few ideas down on uh, 
I can't say down on paper because obviously it's not paper, but you know what I'm trying to say. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, I've done a little bit of work. This is this is going to be a work in progress. Now, one of the things I I do like to do this is this is something for me and pers a personal kind of thing. I'll, I'll show you what I've been doing while I'm at it. So you'll often see if you go on the uh, Reddit and stuff, you will often see people saying, oh, Minecraft's getting boring, or how do you keep Minecraft interesting, how do you keep your games interesting, how do you keep interest? Well, personally for me, it's having multiple projects on the go at once. So we've got the Britannia stuff, and we can go back to that any time. We've got the Thorncraft stuff, we can go back to that any time. We've got the building under the sea, we can go back to that any time. We've got Ars Magica. We can keep little and jump between so if, between projects. So this little village thing is kind of a build project which will go on over a period of time. And, you know, it's not going to be finished overnight, but we've got the walls. I've got these huge braziers on the outside. This is not fully lit and spawn safe or anything, but um, it's too deep. A uh, little bit of a cartouche in the middle there. And I'm kind of playing around with the, a design for the house here. We've got the same going on over this side. And obviously we can extend these walls and rotate them around and, and do all sorts of fun things with them, hopefully. And I'm, as I say, I'm playing around with this design for um, the residence, if you like. Uh, just take, yeah, in fact, take those. I need some more of this. And again, I'm keeping this as very simple at this early stage. So you've got your door there, and then we can pop a... Well, let's come down here. We can have a two-high double window. This is a four-high, not a three-high. The roof, the roof is here, so it's actually three-high, um, and the, that, that will hopefully kind of get a little... become make more sense in a little while uh, so you kind of you know you get this feel for things I'm not sure about this acacia actually I may I may ditch this yet um, but you can basically just go to town and the real the thing and this is a thing I, I love about Minecraft and the thing is it, it is a complete sandbox environment. You know, if if you kinda of go actually no, that looks rubbish. Take it down. You can. It's it's no biggie, you know. Um so if the ceiling is going here, that's the thing, and then maybe like that. So this is the second floor, obviously. Uh, and maybe like this going on here. So you've got this going on. If that's the thing, you're going to have this coming out and there's going to be a door there onto the thing. Now, the style I am looking at here is kind of flat roofed. So if you can imagine, you know, it's a very thing. As I say, I'm not sure I really am not sure about these logs. They're just not doing it for me. Hmm. Need to think about that. And and there's a variety of things you can do to kind of well, not spruce not spruce this up, uh, acacia this up. So you know you can get uh, the uh, these going on over the windows to you know give you the impression of sun shades uh, I'm not sure about this red orange but you know again this can all change this is not set in tablets of stone uh, okay up there like a so and this will be the kind of the villagers house where we'll the houses where we'll, we'll put these in obviously the second floor the villagers are not interested in it all they want is a door with a roof above it and and they're happy let me know what you think about these acacia wood uh, I really am not loving that uh, it has to be said and we're going to stylize it we're probably going to put in uh, some 
black glass or something just to keep it in theme with this stuff going on but um yeah i think that'll be that's kind of a a long-term project it's something we can build a little bit of st on stream and between episodes and and just continue working on as and when the situation uh, you know arises it's uh, there's no rush we've got all time there's no race in this game this is uh, one of the, another thing I, I do like about the game is it's it's not a race it's not a race for first place kind of thing um, but yeah I think we've got some building I do need to concentrate a bit on magic um, I'm what coming up to about halfway towards level 42 um, and there's, there's some tricks we can use here to extend this out and, and you know I've got a few ideas to do like that we'll bring this in um, eventually bring the villagers in I don't want to bring them in until it is safe for them because we don't want to bring them in and have them all die horribly and immediately as I say that might need to change as well to a, a different colour wood but um, yeah the walls I'm, I'm happy with they, they are going to kind of look good and then you'll get this this kind of Egyptian-y desert style metropolis coming out obviously we are at the edge of a desert now how big I make it well you know I've got plenty of scope to to extend down to the edge of the desert here and out to the edge of the desert here so there's there's really no no limit beyond our imagination and patience for building so uh, yeah and device we made a few steps uh in the right direction we've uh, progressed a little bit on thumbcraft we've played around with the building still need to do something over here don't know what yet and uh and i still need to try and get rid of some of these and i did no i haven't put i need to put some glimmering glimmering uh flowers around in here to try and get rid of some of these major lights just to uh, tidy it up a bit but yeah, lots to do, always lots to do, and until next time guys, well thank you very much for watching, any suggestions, thoughts, ideas, as usual, let me know, pop them in the comments, and uh, yeah, until then, thanks for watching, bye for now.